Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the um, May 2016 um, mini love reading for, uh, I lost where I was, I'm sorry, for the Virgo, okay? <clears throat> Hi Virgos. Um, so for the month of, of May, I'm going to do a three card mini reading for you today. Um, this is going to be looking at your past, um, what's affecting you still. Um, what's going on currently and what obstacles you're facing right now and then also the future card which is um, sort of like an outcome and this is what you want which is um, really what you're manifesting so because um, <clears throat> you know how they say we all manifest our future so I strongly believe that all right, so I'm just going to shuffle some more, guys. So for the past, um, Virgo, you got the Nine of Chalices. So this is the Wish card. Um, is what I'm seeing with this. It, it's it's like you're in the past. I'm seeing you look at a lot of different things that you want, and there's a lot of choices there for you, Virgo. But um, you want to make sure that you narrow down <laughs> narrow down your choices, Virgo. Um, so the nine of cups again um, this is the wish card I can't find my little pagan tarot reference deck so that's but that's okay I am not going to worry about that so for this card to come up in the past is showing that you had a lot of wonderful things to choose from um, and it looks like you um, it was almost like the world was just kind of laid down at your feet. You know, you, it's, I'm seeing this fulfillment in the past, um, a very generous, um, flow of emotions and, and pleasure. <clears throat> so it's a very positive card. Um, and in the past, this is, um, this means the source of true happiness is your soul attaining peaceful balance. The efforts you have spent will bring your re reward stay strong and keep working so um so true happiness doesn't have a lot to do with money um in the context of love i can see a lot of you virgos found some true love and happiness in the past okay um so presently what's going on um is the six of chalices so um this is and an old love that's returning to you um, is what this card indicates the six of, of chalices these are a lot of beautiful emotions and feelings um, that you're having with this person um, they have a familiar spirit to you and it really resonates with you <clears throat> so you just really enjoy um, spending time with this person um you know, the, the time that you spend with this person brings you a lot of joy and pleasure. So that's a good card to get presently. Um, and then also for some of you Virgos, it's going to mean that you're reconnecting with someone from the past. It could be someone from your childhood. <clears throat> It could be someone that's, um, I'm, I'm thinking that presently maybe a lot of you Virgos may have um, recently met someone through your family. So that's another thing that I'm seeing with this card. So, and this is just also, I can see like um, a lot of you Virgos just surrounded by a lot of family right now. And you're really, really happy. So that's a really good card. Um, and then for your future card, you did <clears throat> get the Ten of Swords. And let me explain to you what this means. This is not anything that you did. This is um, someone in your life that is going to try to have an impact on 
your love life, okay? So for this to come out as an outcome, it means that um, not only are you going to um, have someone that's going to come to you with some conflict that is going to require a lot of good mental perception. So it's going to require use of your third eye and you looking inward and looking at your situation. But the Ten of Swords, this is someone who is um, just really trying to destroy you. And a lot of people see this card as a bad card. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to draw another card because um, being that it's a 10, this is a really happy number. Um, and it just means that the energies are going to be balanced. It means that you're going to have a, a leg to stand on with, these pe with whoever these people are or this person. So both of you, the five and the five is com five is a conflict. So both of you are going to have equal amount of power in this conflict that you're going to have. So um, when I see the Ten of Swords, what this means is that um, your partner is going through something that has nothing to do with you directly. So meaning that it's not anything that you did. Um, You can't force someone to love you or to behave respectfully. And I get the sense uh, that that's what a lot of you Virgos are going to uh, be going through. And you know what? This is about trust. This is, this is a, you know what? I thought that it was something else. I think I was thinking about the Seven of Swords. Um, this is about you having issues with trust with your partner. So for some of you Virgos, this is going to indicate, um, uh, a conflict involving your love life in the future. Um, for some of you, it's going to mean that you're going to have some trust issues with your partner that are going to come up. Um, the, is the situation going to be stable with this person? Yes and no. More so, yes, because it's a 10. So this is a deal breaker, which is trust. This is you not having trust, Virgo. And a lot of Virgos are very distrustful. I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, this is going to kind of be self-inflicted. Um, but it also means new hope. A lot of people think this card is just disaster waiting to happen. It's not. There's something within your relationship or within your love life, Virgo, that you are going to have to endure and overcome. Um, usually the Ten of Swords foretells of a complete failure, but an unavoidable book. But I'm sorry but an unavoidable one but what is more is that the failure will not be small or easily overcome but you have to stay strong this card shows up to remind you to give you a definite message that you need to stay strong and you need to you know maintain your new hope otherwise it's going to ruin you Um, so just keep in mind that new dreams can be built from the ashes and what this card means in the future is that you need to assess the direction you are headed beware following the opinions of others as this may lead you a away from your own truth seeing the world through pragmatic eyes will balance your optimism so this is really a lot of inner conflict also okay I'm um, also this can indicate for some of you, um, Virgos, that you're going to end a relationship in May. It's a possibility for that. Um, I can see you going through this depression because you're feeling as though you can't trust your partner. And this is about feelings being broken and crushed. 
Now, the one thing that I want to tell you is that um, with this Ten of Swords, I, I can't like this. This this card is so horrible that I've got to pull the next card in the deck for you, and I just want to. You know, find out what 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 can I tell the Virgo? Like, what can I tell the Virgo? And okay, so we got the initiate of chalices is going to be crossing that card in the future. So what this is about is emotional growth, and your emotional growth, your ability to trust, your ability to process process your emotions. Is definitely going to help you overcome. Also, this is a literal person in your life. This is, um, is it comparable to the queen? So this is a literal person. This is a queen. Yep, she's underneath the king. Um, and she's, she's going to provide you with a, a high level of um, support emotional support so it does look like there is going to be some betrayal coming up from a friend um, it looks like this person is probably going to try to ruin you and there's going to be a literal person that's crossing her in the future I'm sorry, not crossing her, but crossing the card. Because there's another, there's a woman. I get the sense this is a literal person also. For some reason, for some of you Virgos, um, this is someone coming to pay you a visit. Okay? And they've got some conflict. And then you get you get the initiate, which is crossing her in the future. And this is someone who um, is on that next level. Um, she has wisdom in confronting obstacles and I believe is the meaning of this one or either wisdom and reasoning I think it is I have to find that little reference book you guys I'm sorry um I can see this person being of great assistance to you um they're gonna be very stable and emotionally sound And um, I see this as, for some of you Virgos, as being um, either a new love interest or possibly an old love interest because you did get the Six of Chalices in the past. Um, also, so, also for some of you Virgos, okay? For some of you, I don't know, I can get that. Sorry. For some of you, I'll just leave that one out. <laughs> um, for some of you, it could be um, the initiate chalices is, is the one is is the person. Um, it could be a man or a woman. But I see good energies. I see her um, or him being of um, a lot of emotional support from you for whatever this situation is that is going to bring you some sadness. Okay, and I feel as though, you know, even though you're going to have that sadness, um, there's going to be a lot of emotional growth for you, as well as your family. And then with whoever, if you're currently involved with someone, um, the relationship is going to get a lot better in the future, is what I'm seeing. Um, there's going to be a struggle. And it's going to be all about trust. There's going to be a total. I'm going to be honest with you, Virgo. Um, in your love life, the trust, your inability to trust is going to have a huge impact on your love life in May. Okay? So you need to just remember that because I pulled this other card underneath it to see what was crossing that Ten of Swords. But, um, it, you know, like I said, it could be inner conflict, just feeling... Um, off balance, you know, but I think this is conflict within the relationship that's based upon trust. So I can see that those of you who are currently involved, it looks like you're happy with this person, but the trust issue is going to come up. And I can see 
you know, this wisdom coming in and being able to um, emotionally and mentally process it in a healthy way. Okay, so I see a really good outcome coming up from you, even though it's going to coming up for you, even though it's going to be a struggle of trust, make sure that you tune in to my full reading for love for May. It's going to be coming up within the next week or so. Um, and so make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up. And if you want a personalized reading, uh, my website is in the video description box. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.